Hey there, game makers, and welcome back to the newest iteration, the newest version of Game Maker, the 0.9. And our overlords have gifted us with this. Mm, how can I say that? Very lightweight update because you could basically, like 99% or 95% of people can actually skip this one. There's nothing in there which would be just, just like, oh, sweet, this new VFX effect, or oh, this new feature, or oh, this, this, nope, nothing in there. So basically, this is a rather technical update, just bug fixes, putting it into the newest stable version, and then reshuffling a few things and just and removing one thing. So if you got used to it, then it's gone. But in my opinion, it's not, it's not too bad. It's actually a good thing because it was taking away space for well a good reason but we unified it into the inspector gadget thing so what do i mean by that so if you have your game and then workspace one then normally what you would be doing is just i don't know open your room and then on the left side you got your layers and then you're like oh what's actually happening where are my other things? So the room properties for the camera and all that stuff, it's gone. It's basically gone. And if you do a thing like me, we're like, huh? <laughs> Get rid of it and then just click around. And then you double click and then your layers are gone also. So the, <laughs> the room property thing with the layers is actually a little bit hidden, not too much. So let's say we double click on that then we find it under room, then layer view, and then once again, just the layers are being shown. So what did they do here? So if you're thinking, oh, maybe I did something wrong, reset the layout, which you can actually do. And then they actually want to make the inspector, the left part thing, which is actually good. So the inspector uh, gadget thing is actually pretty sweet. Come on, so. Um, where you can have more detailed information. Of course, if you want to have even more detail, you double click on it and you just edit here. Or if you want a quick edit or just check out stuff, then well, the inspector on the left side is doing that part. So once again, the room property thing is getting, well, it's getting away. Of course, you, you can undock it if you don't like it on the left side, but I think, ah, why not? Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe. <laughs> okay, so it seems um, it does work. So once again, the the room properties and all that stuff is more likely you just have to well, click on the room and then in the inspector you find the same stuff so it's just basically reshuffling and what are the all the other things which are mentioned in here well they are basically going for the long term stable release and therefore this is just doing some bug fixing and uh, while well, applying making things better because uh, well bug fixing is the thing which you do on your software all the time and then um, there's some I don't know Opera GX it's now called uh, just GX games so if you're up for the Opera stuff then here and here uh, for most people this won't be relevant then of course this is what I talked about the new inspector and the changes to the room edit layout so once again the room layer properties things is kind of getting kicked out and replaced by the inspector which is then more uh, a fluid system which is in my opinion definitely better a little bit annoying at the start because well you you got used to this and it's gone <laughs> and it's pretty much gone which is like uh, okay where can i find it but as pilot showed you then just a few mouse clicks and you get used to it easy peasy stuff then well what's what else then for my gml visual code users then we got a new node which is called add motion not using that so, so that's for me okay i don't really care and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and then i don't know what can i tell you then you can i don't know uh, have new options for your texture groups for most people won't be using that anyway so this is for advanced users if you want to separate and then load and unload texture groups which wasn't i guess before possible um something like that haven't dabbled with that so i'm not an expert here and that's pretty much it that's your new update maybe there's new stuff coming up but as it looks like this is for most people 
Um, you can update it if you like. Most uh, updates were pretty stable, they were doing uh, good stuff, but here um, not mandatory. You can do it, you can leave it because there's virtually nothing which you can say like, oh sweet, I have to update it because this new feature is in there. There's nothing in here, nothing. That's that's completely void of bling blings and uh, candy and all that, the, the, the cool new stuff. There is no new cool stuff in here. It's basically a, technic a technical upgrade or update, um, which is always good, not gonna deny that. But um, if you don't update it and then you sleep and then you wake up the next day, you're like, oh, I didn't update. Well, it didn't matter anyway. So that's my uh, verdict. Maybe they will up the, uh, change or add some things to the update, but they officially released it, uh, I don't know, an hour ago or, or what? Well, I just got to update it an hour ago. So therefore, I guess this is then official, which is good, but it's not going to mind blow you into in, into infinity into some i don't know 4d space uh way like oh sweet these features and these things and so on maybe i'm missing something but from what i read here i'm really not missing anything so <laughs> it's completely void of new uh, features of new things to look forward to once again a technical stability update already that was it from my side have a good one. One up indie.